And now tracking Hurricane Melissa, a powerful Category 5 storm that's set to make landfall in Jamaica, pounding with catastrophic winds and rain. All right, looking ahead as the storm moves away from the Caribbean, we're watching two models that show some of the moisture from Melissa could make for a wet Halloween here in the tri-state. Meteorologist Audrey Puente joins us now with more on that. Audrey, what are you making of these models? Well, you know, we're seeing some improvement now for Halloween in the tri-state area. Yesterday we did anticipate possible washout, but now things are starting to make some improvement, which I'll show you in just a moment. Let's focus on Melissa and where it's at right now. We've been watching it in the Caribbean over the last week or so, and now we know it's at a Category 5 status and making its way towards Jamaica. So on the current path, it will be hitting the island tomorrow, then eventually moving over towards eastern Cuba and then over to the Bahamas. And then it will run parallel to the eastern seaboard, but making its way towards Bermuda, which actually has not seen a land falling hurricane on the tiny island all season long. Even though a lot of systems have passed near the island, it hasn't had a direct hit, but it could be possible with Melissa. So we'll wait and see. But you can see it runs parallel to the eastern seaboard. So how will this affect our weather pattern as we go into the upcoming week? Here's a look at our Fox weather model. And on it, we'll see that things are quiet here in the tri state area. That's courtesy of high pressure. Here's a low pressure center that's affecting the southeastern states. This is actually going to spill some cloud cover into our region and the chance for a couple of spotty showers or an isolated shower tomorrow into Wednesday, especially along the Jersey Shore. But it's this that we're really watching to come into play here by the end of the week for us. This is a system that's developing and it will become quite expansive as we go into Thursday. It's going to push its way into the tri-state area and that's going to bring us a soaking rain for Thursday. Now some good news is in the forecast here. Here comes up on the model you can see we have Melissa now making its way uh, just north of Haiti. This is as we go into Wednesday, and we can see that it will possibly move just to east of the, uh, the east coast here, but it will not tap into the moisture from this system. It's going to be too uh, fast to hit with Melissa, so Melissa will actually move out to sea. This one will bring us a soaking rain by Thursday, but quickly exit the area for Halloween, so that's good news for us. Now, on the back side of it, it'll turn quite windy, so a lot of the decor that will be outside could be blown away, and some of those costumes might have to keep a tight on rain on those too if you have some parts that could be flying off well for more on what the forecast will be on that holiday and what we can expect up until that point we're going to head over to my colleague nick gregory all right audrey thanks so much and yes we will look to, to luck out on halloween itself but before that as you pointed out could be some big problems coming in on thursday today a tranquil day overall but a cool day 55 43 the split we should be up around 61 uh, we'll get to 60 or just above at one point in this forecast otherwise we're still going to stay on the cooler side record high 82 record low 28. Sunrise 621. You'll see uh, some of it uh, tomorrow. Actually, actually, a lot of it for tomorrow. And then 558 is now our set time. So now the sun is setting before 6 p.m. All right. It is uh, clear. It is sunny. It is 53. Uh, wind variable, mostly out of the northeast. Humidity is dry and the pressure very strong at 30.33. Temperatures pretty uniform. Low and middle 50s. We do have 56 at Newark. Mid 50s Belmar. Only 51 though in the Hamptons. And then low 50s there as you head towards Poughkeepsie and up there into Monticello. Like I said, mostly a north northeasterly wind. It's light though, 5, 10 miles per hour. It's going to stay out of that direction and speed pretty much as the night goes along. So with a mainly clear sky and a light wind, here we go again. It's a frost setup. We do have a frost advisory again that is located across uh, upper parts of Westchester County, interior southern Connecticut. And there's your freeze warning there, Putnam County to uh, Orange County. And that frost advisory, the Monmouth County southward does not include the immediate shore uh, for our overnight. All right, highs for today, mostly again, uniform temps, low middle 50s, 58 there at Bridgeport though. Same for Islip and Newark, 57 at the shore. And those 50s carrying us into New England. Boston at 52, about 50. Albany to Burlington, 60s appearing in Washington, D.C. And about 60, Pittsburgh towards Cleveland, upper 50s, middle 50s towards Chicago, and then back to 62 as you get towards Indianapolis. All right, here's a close-up view. And again, on our satellite, we can see there's nothing really going on here. So that clear sky stays for tonight. And you can see sort of here in the wide view that that clear sky really covers most of the northeastern part of the country. Audrey just referred to that storm that'll be for now that'll be staying off to our south but again this will be our big weather maker. It's going to dive southward and then sort of make the turn and come towards us and intensify as it does and that's going to bring the potential for a couple of inches of rain here as we head into Thursday. Remember we are still in a drought so we need this rain. Unfortunately it's also going to come with a bit of wind. There could be some thunderstorms around here on Thursday as well. All right here's our future cast again overnight generally clear. Notice that northeasterly wind tomorrow 
it's a sunny day again with temperatures kind of holding in the middle to some upper 50s. More clouds are going to roll in with that easterly wind on Wednesday. The wind's going to start picking up. Could be a couple of showers, particularly in the afternoon. And then the main action again comes in on Thursday. 43 tonight in town, but about 30 in those colder suburbs. A couple of clouds are so quite chilly. Sunny tomorrow, 57 is the best we'll do. And then you'll see again the wind picks up on Wednesday. Some showers maybe later on. Windy, rainy Thursday, maybe a thunderstorm, 62. Early showers Friday. Then it's dry, but just windy for Halloween and still cool in the upper 50s. Saturday looks dry and windy. We change our clock this weekend. We got to fall back an hour, get an extra hour of sleep. Should be nice for the marathon, just the way they like it in the 50s. And then showers may return on Monday. Steve you never know what you're going to get on Marathon Sunday. It can yeah. be hot, it can be cold. That right. is pretty good. It's yeah. going to be a good one this year. Mm -hmm.